Our second class of nouns for this chapter are geminate nouns. Geminate means a noun that has the same consonant as its second and third root letters. Remember the form levav from the earlier vocabulary in chapter four. The bait is both the second and third root letter of the word. The root is lamed vav vav. This means it's a geminate root. Unlike levav, however, and like its alternate form, lev, in most cases, the duplicated root letter is only written once in the singular form. You have nouns such as am for people or a people, aim for mother or a mother, and hok for statute or a statute. The dagesh forte will be used in most cases for the plural form to indicate the doubling of the geminate consonant. Amim, peoples. Emote, mothers. Hukim, statutes. Note again the differing vowels. A class, I class, and U class. So geminate nouns, just like segalets, disguise three different vowel classes, which are evident in the plurals, and sometimes even evident in the singular forms. You should also be aware that a guttural or a resh, as we have discussed, cannot double with a dogish forte. In plural forms, then, it is very common to have compensatory lengthening or virtual doubling. If you need to, go back to chapter four, section five, and review both of those processes.